Hello everybody, Console Truth here again. Uh, just a quick note before I get into my topic of this video. I'm going to do uh, this one and one other video that I'm going to post tonight. Uh, just as my last two prime for about the next week and a half, just due to the fact that I'm taking a much long overdue vacation. That's right, work has been kicking my ass for the last seven or eight months or so, and uh, time has come, and I'm going to be leaving town, and uh, sorry, when I'm all on vacation having a good time, I, I don't really mess with this stuff. So, uh, getting to the topic of my first video here. Uh, let's see, this is brought about because of the now infamous video that's been, and news story that's been going on uh, with the Final Fantasy 13 launch in London with uh, a lot of people booing an announcer when they said that there was a drawing going to be held for an Xbox 360 uh, pack along with Final Fantasy 13. Now, I just, what, what this is bringing me to is I want to know why is it that especially PlayStation fanboys, not fans, I'm just talking fanboys, you know, because regular fans are okay, it's the fanboys that fucking suck, that whenever it comes to games made by third-party developers, not even Sony-made games, but third-party developers, which means that they're free, unless they have some kind of contracts, they're free to do whatever the fuck they want with their own games, like Square Enix or NX or whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, it just seems that they have this un... God, I can't even think of the word, but, you know, they just seem to have this uh, retarded sense of entitlement for their preferred system. It's like, you know, some of Final Fantasy, it must only come to the PS3. Same with Tekken, uh, same with... Um, what was another one? Devil May Cry, same with Metal Gear and that franchise. Ever, yes, I know a lot of these games uh, have been on PlayStation systems since the PS1, but some of them have been around longer than that, and you don't hear people bitching about it. I mean, like with Final Fantasy, it started on the original Nintendo, or Famicom if you're from Japan. But Final Fantasy, the proper number one, started on the Nintendo, the NES, back in, what, 80, mid-80s, 85, 86, somewhere in there. But yeah, you have these PS3 fanboys now that are all in a tizzy and a hissy fit because all of a sudden it's coming out on the 360. Now, you don't see 360 fans um, really get too upset, or fanboys, I should say, that uh, games that started on the 360 that went multi-platform. You know, you don't see them getting upset or feel that they're, they seem to think that they're entitled to keeping the game on their system. And, uh, you know, for games like, um, let's see, uh, Lost Planet, of course, went to the PS3. Bioshock, uh, soon to be um, Dead Rising 2, and some of the other ones. And it just amazes me that just because it's been on a specific uh, a specific family of consoles for a while, that all of a sudden these fucking PlayStation fanboys seem to think that they're entitled to only have the game on their system. And then these same fucking fanboys will turn right around and say, well, like with uh, Mass Effect 2, a lot of people thinking that it's going to come to the PlayStation 3, uh, or possibly Mass Effect 3, or something somewhere down the line, and these same fucking fanboys will be like, well, of course it makes sense, you know, it's more money for EA, and blah blah, it should be on there, and blah 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 blah. But yet, when you say the same thing about Square, and Final Fantasy thirteen, it's, no, it should only be on the PlayStation, it shouldn't go to other systems. Square Enix is being money grubber, and they're, they're being greedy, and they're being fucking backstabbers, and they're in Microsoft's pocket, and blah blah blah. So, something that starts on a uh, Microsoft console going over to the PlayStation or a Sony console is perfectly fine and dandy. But when it's reversed, all of a sudden it's, you know, Microsoft just paying them off or them betraying their uh, fan base. And I just, please help me. Can somebody tell me what the fuck is up 
with this sense of entitlement that fanboys seem to have, especially PlayStation fanboys, because a lot of these games that are, once again, third-party games that are going over to the 360, or have already gone over, or, you know, currently are, they, the franchises didn't even start with a PlayStation. A lot of them actually started with a Nintendo. Uh, best examples would be, um, of course, Final Fantasy and the Metal Gear series. Actually, Metal Gear started on the uh, MXC or the MCX or MSX or whatever the fuck the computer was, and then it was converted over to the NES and then, you know, went from there. But the point is, why the fuck do they have this fucking sense of entitlement? Thinking that anything from certain companies, just because in the last, say, 10 years they've been on PlayStation platforms, that they think that every single future, current and future project from that company with that title belongs only on a PlayStation system. I just, can you help me out with that? Can you help me out why these fucking fanboys think that? Other than the fact that they're fucking fanboys. I mean, I get that. You know, a fucking fanboy isn't right in the head anyway. So if somebody could give me a good reason, I'd love to hear it. Because I just don't get it. Okay, that's enough of that uh, for this video. Uh, I'm about ready to post up my second video. By the time you get through watching this, hopefully it'll be up. Peace.